This video is a response to um, a comparative analysis of a game-based mobile learning model in so low socioeconomic communities in India, published in the International Journal of Educational Development, authored by Paul Kim, Elizabeth Buckner, Haikyung Kim, Tomas McKenney, Nehai Talaja, and Valibi Herak. The first surprising thing in this study for me was when students, when there was groups of people, children trying to work, figure out how to work a device, that there was always more multiple hands on the device at the same time. And being a father of two young boys, I find that very surprising because when one device is split between the two of them, they tend to fight over it very quickly. So the fact that these children work together was surprising. And the second surprising aspect of this was that the group of three, they, they gave the devices to individuals, groups of three and groups of seven, and, and children in groups of three seemed to figure out how to use the device faster. Perhaps that's because there were multiple eyes on the device uh, suggesting or trying different ideas uh, but there weren't so many people playing with the device that they got bored and um, stagnated a little bit in their learning. Um, the next most interesting thing was as you can see in this chart the individual groups took the longest to figure out how to use the device but if you notice once they learn how to use the device they solve problems as fast or sometimes it seems even faster than the groups of three or groups of seven so i wonder if they had actually allowed groups to figure out how to use the device and then once they were comfortable using the device if they said oh here's a bunch more everybody gets their own whether their actual learning of the skill we wanted to teach would have increased faster. And the last most interesting thing uh, I found on this was that uh, mixed gender groups did better than single gender groups. Uh, from what I understood is for single gender groups, uh, because there isn't the need to impress or hide intelligence from the opposite gender, uh, single gender groups tend to excel faster. So this was uh, actually very uh, surprising to me. Um, how do we know really if the students are learning is what I would really like to know. But uh, assuming that the game is designed to teach learning, then this means that in education, we should spend less time trying to teach our students how to use a device or how to solve problems and more time just letting them explore the problems. And then after they have explored it for a while and figured out the rules and, and whatnot for how to solve, then we should talk about that and let the students discuss um, what rules they came up with with and and those would be especially in math the procedures that uh, we have been teaching them that sort of thing so in education spend less time explaining our tools and more time discussing 